Joining us from New York is our presidential correspondent Mzwandi Lembeje who has more on this story. Good evening Mzwa. Well, very good morning. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, Indeed, as you uh, spoken to us, we're coming live. Uh, Indeed, Indeed as you've uh, spoken to us, we're coming live uh, to you from New York. Namza, tell us more about this huge, huge accolade um, that our very own Patrice Mutsepe has gotten this evening. Uh, Tabile, as you've rightly said, uh, here we are with uh, Mr. Petrus Mutsepe. is very well known in South Africa uh, for his business acumen, for his philanthropy. Uh, he's the uh, president of Sundowns. So he's quite uh, a, a number of things to uh, a number of people. And uh, here he is in New York. He was uh, honored along with other great uh, business people. Forbes is... Uh, uh, celebrating 100 years of existence and then it picked uh, what it said about 100 uh, greatest minds in business and then one of our own uh, business uh, person, uh, Petrus Motsepe is one of those people. But Tabili, maybe let me not waste time. Let me speak to the man uh, who is really honored uh, uh, here in New York. Uh, Mr. Motsepe we, you, we've just uh, got the very good news that uh, you were actually mentioned as one of the 100 greatest living business minds. What an honor. Well, uh, it's a great honor for me. And if you look at uh, the people who are part of that 100 uh, respected uh, global businessmen like Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, uh, Elon Musk, uh, Jeff Bezos. But for me, there are many South Africans uh, and Africans who are uh, more deserving than I am. I mean, they are the people who've inspired me, and uh, uh, I, I, I think that uh, uh, there are many from my country, as well as from the continent, who should be amongst those uh, the hundred greatest business minds that are alive. I mean, many people would like to know uh, your story. Um, so we now know Patrice Mutsep, uh, a billionaire. But where did it all start? <laughs> I mean. Uh, uh, the issue of what you, your wealth and uh, your financial status doesn't say much about the quality of person you are, your upbringing, and, and more importantly, your commitment to the poor, to the South Africa. I grew up from a very young age uh, working in my parents' grocery stores, and, and I learned about business. And uh, South Africa's got lots of challenges like many other countries, but we sometimes don't look at the exceptional people we have, the caring people we have in our country, the exceptionally talented business uh, women and businessmen. And I'm a product of uh, encouragement, motivation, inspiration by uh, many South Africans, black South Africans, white South Africans, and South Africans on the continent. What inspires you to, to keep going? You know, uh, I, I grew up uh, just outside Pretoria, and I continue to have the great privilege of meeting ordinary people from our country who sacrifice, uh, help those who I need, and, uh, and many of them are in need of assistance themselves. So I have been a huge beneficiary of, of this culture. We, we loosely refer to it as the culture of Ubuntu, but both. But it's much, much deeper than that. It's just the, the love and the deep commitment that you get from your parents, but also from other community members, uh, usually the women, the men as well, who instill a deep sense of recognition that your future and the success of yourself and your family is inextricably intertwined with a success and a better life for the poor, for the marginalized, and for the unemployed. Where does Petrus Mutsepe see himself in the next 10 years? Well, you know, uh, if we can uh, provide better education, I mean, good work has been done. But when I say better education, I'm referring to making sure that the education and the skills and expertise that we give to our youth prepares them to get jobs in those sectors of our economies that are growing.
So if uh, we can, uh, through our foundation, and I can make a humble contribution to provide more jobs. I mean, we are educating thousands of young students and uh, lots of partnerships that we have to make our humble contribution to rural and urban development. But if we can 10 years from now recognize that in partnership with local communities, with uh, business, uh, workers, uh, NGOs, that we have made huge success to reduce unemployment, to improve uh, the opportunities for those who've got skills and expertise, and really make the lives of the poor and marginalized much, much better. You have recently ventured into the financial sector. What is the thinking behind? Uh, it's part of... Uh, opportunities we see not just in South Africa but on the continent and uh, and, and I am absolutely optimistic uh, and as I said we've got challenges but successful countries and successful entrepreneurs have never succeeded by focusing on the negative and focusing on the problems the problems are opportunities to create to turn them around and to create a positive future. So the starting point is, you know, I continue to be inspired. And we do business and we work all over, uh, all over the world and we meet people from all over the world. And every time I go back to South Africa and look at all our people, ranging from the poor to the rest of our communities, South Africa has a bright future. We must just keep believing in ourselves, working hard, uh, continue with education, identify those problems that we have and deal with them honestly because part of building a better future for all of our people is a recognition of those areas where we must do much better but we've got a, a talented youth our religious organizations and faith-based organizations very very important in terms of our moral uh, guidance and to focus on those things that puts us together but I'm absolutely confident that we will build a brighter future in partnerships with everybody and make sure that all of our people, particularly the unemployed, uh, the, the poor, have got a better future and we grow the middle class and create a bright future for all our people. You said uh, you, you are inspired every day. Um, many people would wonder, who do you look up to uh, yourself? Because I think there's a lot of people who look up to you to say, well, one day we want to be like Patrice Mutsepe. But who is it that Patrice Mutsepe is looking up to? You know, I always laugh because I meet young boys and girls. I don't know, some of them are four or five years old, and they say to me, well, you know, I want to be like you. And I say, you know what, you're going to be so much better. You're going to be more successful, better in all the ways than I could ever be. But I uh, have had the privilege of meeting many ordinary people, you know, young people, older people, uh, hardworking people, honest people, genuine people, people who care and who, and many of them who didn't even know me as a young South African and kept encouraging me and they do it not just for me but for many of our people and that's why it is important that you know side by side with recognizing our weaknesses and our failures and that is important because we've got to fix those issues we should also feel proud and motivate our people motivate our youth motivate young girls young boys that South Africans are amongst the greatest people in the world and together we will build a great country. We have that potential and uh, all of us must just make our humble contribution. South Africa will, will realize its potential. Uh, before concluding, uh, Mr. Motsepe, uh, what would you say to those who aspire to be like you, not necessarily to be, we can't all be billionaires, I guess, but people who want to be successful in life, people who want to make a meaningful contribu contribution uh, to the economy, to the continent, and indeed to the world. You know, I grew up in a reasonably successful family, and one of the things I knew from a very young age was that having money does not equate to happiness. 
money is important. I mean, all of us want a decent, uh, a, a good standard of living, and we want to send our children to good schools. So money is important. But what is significantly more important is pursue your dreams, pursue those interests that you have, do the things that makes you happy and that excites you and that motivates you. Uh, whether you want to be a nurse, and, and my mother was a nurse, my father was a teacher before he went into business. So every object of every wish, every dream that every young South African have, has focus on those and uh, work hard. With hard work and sacrifice, you can not just realize your dreams, but you will be extremely successful. And, and for those to whom money is important, uh, through hard work and sacrifice, you will succeed more than uh, Patrice uh, and various others have in the world. Just work hard, sacrifice, and, and persevere. You will succeed. You will do well. Uh, it's the month of, Septem of September, and uh, I, I, I know it's the Heritage Month in South Africa. Um, how important is this for you and for the country, and what sort of contribution would you like to make? You know, I, I've, I've had the huge honor of working with many of our kings and traditional leaders and the languages and the culture uh, including uh, those those members in our communities who who are from portuguese or greek and our afrikaans culture in south africa uh, our zulu culture our Tosa culture our Bedi culture sutu uniquely enriching make south africa the most beautiful and reached and and uh, exciting place to live in and uh, uh, we have over many many years worked with uh, many of our kings and traditional leaders because they represent a unique part of our history and our culture and our language and the 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 cross pollination the cro the f cross fertilization as some people would say but also what we learn from our different languages from our different cultures and uh, we don't all think the same it it makes us better people richer people and a country that is uh, enriched by this diverse language culture and custom and traditions that makes living in south africa an exciting and a, and, and a place with huge and a bright future Indeed, uh, Mr. Mutsepe, this is really an honor. And uh, your final word, um, I mean, you are absolutely excited about this. Just your, your parting shot. So what does this really mean uh, for you, perhaps not necessarily you personally, but for the country as a whole? Well, I think it's a great honor. And as I said, uh, uh, there are many, many businessmen and many South Africans who deserve to be recognized uh, it's i feel deeply honored to have been identified as one of the 100 greatest living business minds in the world and and i mentioned in the company of very very great people but i think many young south africans and for us as south africans we should look at uh, this humble recognition and the honor that i've received as an inspiration for many of our people because many deserve to be there but also many young South Africans can achieve even higher dreams and can achieve even higher recognitions and we should look at this as a sign that uh, that in the midst of all the challenges we have as a country we've got exceptional people and uh, many of our exceptional people are recognized and respected worldwide thank you very much thank you so much uh, Tabile, you've heard yourself there, uh, Mr. Motsepe, uh, telling us the story, indeed, uh, a very inspiring story uh, for uh, young South Africans. Uh, anyone can reach their dreams as long as they, uh, I mean, follow them. And of course, not all of us will be billionaires, but I guess if we pull together and we work hard, and then we'll be able to be successful. Tabile? Thank you very much, Mzwa. Definitely an inspiring and interesting conversation between Patrice Mutsepe, a well-known and renowned businessman. Um, he's just been honored with being one of the 100 greatest living business minds by Forbes. And they were joining us live from New York. More news coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere.